What's going on, everybody? My name is Blitzwinger, ladies and gentlemen. This is a special one again, because today we are continuing the gameplay walkthrough for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, but this is particularly special because this is the last episode that we need to go on ahead and kick off. No, it's not the last episode of the walkthrough, but it is the last Star Wars episode that we will be covering. We've gone through the previous eight episodes, and now it is time to tackle the rise of Sky walker with all that in mind of course guys don't forget to hit the thumbs up button it'd be absolutely amazing if we could go on ahead and tie up the success of part one with this particular part that would be incredibly incredibly humbling so if you can hit the thumbs up button if you can share the stream or sorry stream pardon me i just got done streaming if you could go on ahead and share the video i would really appreciate that thank you so much and without further ado let's kick things off with the rise of skywalker and away we go Oh my goodness. I can't believe we're here, guys. Like, honestly, I worked so, so hard to try to get this entire walkthrough for, for you guys as fast as I possibly could, but I've had an absolute blast, of course, myself. Just, it, just such, such a privilege and a joy to go through this experience. It's made me a bigger fan of the prequels. It's shockingly made me a bigger fan of the sequels. And of course, it continues to make me a huge fan of the original trilogy because, boy, oh, boy, what a special, special um, franchise Star Wars is, you know? The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be... Is that Jar Jar? Hold, what? Okay, is that a joke or did that actually happen in the real movie? The whole rumor of Darth Jar Jar is a thing. Oh my goodness. He has got himself a brand new army. And become what your grandfather Vader could not. Okay, so they do not waste any time with episode nine. You know, things get very crazy very quick. Bulio, good to see you. You got something for us? From a new ally. A spy in the first order. Transfer the message. Hey. Why does Bulio sound like Mark Hamill? Does Mark Hamill voice Bulio? Poe, we got it. And away. Julio? Really? Okay, so first mission uh, in The Rise of Skywalker is gonna be... Wait, but I don't have the option to fire! Why can't I fire? Bro. Alrighty, apologies about that, but we are back in action. I don't know what that was. That was a really oddball glitch. I actually have never run into anything with this game so far that required me to reset. Holy moly. But we're good now. It's working. The recording is working. So apologies about the fact that I don't know why the Millennium Falcon wouldn't fire. So the only thing that fixed it was a complete reset of the console. Because I tried to just close the game and restart and that wouldn't fix it. But fortunately enough, we're golden now. Everything is working. If you run into this issue, again, the only thing I could go on ahead and recommend is just reset your console and hopefully that ought to fix it. But for now, yikes. Some serious, serious heavy fire here for the very first mission of... Ooh, just barely squeezed through there. Of the uh, Rise of Skywalker. Holy... Yikes. Ooh. <gasps> Wait, that's the micro vehicle. That means that we probably got... Did we get all the mini kits? We might have got all the mini kits. I legit think we might have got all the mini kits. That would be freaking awesome. I think that might be the first or second time that we've ever done that. So that would be really, really freaking cool if that were to be true. Of course, we'll see. Now it's time for some hyperspace jumping, I believe, right? Wasn't it? Oh my goodness. Po -po. Okay, I've got a really small task for you, Poe. 
Just keep us alive. Also, this is brilliant. I love this camera angle from inside the Millennium Falcon. How freaking cool is that? Again, it's it's small little details like this of stuff that we have never seen before. Like, this is essentially a cutscene, of course. I'm not controlling the Millennium Falcon here. It's just doing whatever it wants. It's pretty much on rails. The only thing you get to do is uh, put in the button input when it asks you to go on ahead and activate the hyper jump. But beyond that, whoa, where the heck is this? The green planet is just the Hulk? Oh, good. Google. That thing looks like that monster from Dune, doesn't it? Oh, yikes. Ooh, okay, we're good. All is well that ends well. And this kind of... Oh, no. Hey, let's go rescue Boba Fett. Look at that. Where are we? Seems like we've arrived in safety. Never mind. Raptar. Get up and get out of here. And away we go again. Be with me. Hey, here's Ray. Looks like she's with me. powering up. They're not with me. Oh. Be with whom and whom is she talking about? Ray. Be patient. Looks like Ray is just frustrated with her training process. It's time to run the training course. That sounds cool. But first, of course, the completion of that first level. Very, very action-packed first level. A skip and a jump. We get our free play unlocked, which is brilliant. We, of course, did go on ahead and get all three tiers of the true Jedi, which is awesome. Very happy about that. As far as level challenges are concerned, we did the first and the third. So we're going to come back to that second one later. And then here's the moment of truth. This is what I'm super duper stoked for. We got all five mini kit components that is exceptionally awesome very stoked for that in terms of characters we get finn in his episode 9 attire we get poe dameron in his episode 9 attire we have bulio unlocked we have the millennium falcon from episode 9 because i guess it does get a bit of a rework in episode 9 and now let's traverse around this planet is this the car i think this probably is the car most likely that we are on at least it kind of resembles the car i would imagine but i'm not 100 percent sure let's get across this you know what let me double check oh it is not the car hmm it's a question mark planet hey if you know what that planet is leave that in the comment section below there's a nice little quiz for you uh for today now it looks like we gotta get this training session underway there are five flags in total to gather so here's flag number one brilliant now next one takes us up here let's go no 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 ray other way whoa did you see that backwards jump yo that's sick that's like that jump that she does in the very um not the end of the movie but like halfway through the movie when she jumps over the um uh kylo ship right that was pretty awesome and then there's our second flag. Okay, where to next? This way? Nope, actually, never mind. The mini map shows us to go back, I suppose. So, let's waddle, 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 waddle this way. Dang, dude, we're moving so fast now thanks to our sprint upgrades. It's crazy. I really feel like we're like Sonic out here, which is tremendous. Um, in fact, let's take a look at our upgrades real quick because we do have a lot of Kyber bricks. So... Why don't we max out that speed even further and it looks like the rest is now no longer affordable because that sprint upgrade costs us what 20 kyber bricks okay that was very expensive for sure okay that's fine it'll be worth it though because we're gonna need to upgrade that anyhow at some point in time so better now than never and it's it'll be something that'll be helpful all throughout we got our third flag please make that jump there's our fourth flag can we wall run here oh no never mind this is one of the ones where you have to use the lightsaber man it's so crazy to think how many different traversal methods there are in this game it's really astonishing just think about it like wall running double jump single jump glide hover um this ability to like pretty much like rock climb sort of there's just a ton, a ton that you can go on ahead and do in terms of traversal. It's it's just mind-boggling. Sprinting, sliding, and much more. Okay, we got our fifth flag. Ooh. Seems like uh, Mr. Kylo Ren is going through a bit of a 
telepathic moment here, trying to contact Ray. And he is not succeeding. Ray, on the other hand, having these flashbacks of her childhood. Ray! Falcon's back! The Falcon is back. Okay. I'm assuming that would imply the Millennium Falcon, right? So. Is this C3PO? Oh, no. Okay, I was confused. I was like, is this the hint droid or C3PO? Because I'm like, dude, what happened to C3PO that he turned all red? That would have been one heck of a rework for him. All right, so looks like we need to get down. Ooh, whoa, okay, that was a pretty big drop. Towards the base. Uh, do you guys realize that this X-Wing is on fire, guys? You're very casual about the whole thing. I just... I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but uh, somebody should put out those flames, probably. <laughs> and there's the Millennium Falcon that is on fire. Oh, no, they brought the Raftar with them. This is awkward. Palpatine returned. He's been planning his revenge. The largest fleet the galaxy's ever known. Okay. Fighting in the unknown regions on a world called Exegol. Exegol. Pretty fancy. He said to get there, you need one of these. A Sith Wayfinder. Oh. I'm going to start where his trail went cold. It looked like a piece of cake. In desert of Persana. Okay. Go together. To Persana? Nice. Now, the reason why I'm so excited about Persona is not because I'm a huge fan of the sequels or anything like that, but just predominantly due to the fact that... Fasana in the trailers looked so freaking cool. So I'm looking forward to A, heading to a planet that we haven't been to. And also, by the way, uh, that is still question marked for us. I don't know. Interesting. So I guess we're just not going to get to find out for now what the name of that planet is. So let's head to Fasana. As I was saying, like the trailer just made Fasana look so like insanely different compared to everything else like yes obviously it's kind of a sand based planet as well so it kind of has a bit of a Jakku and Tatooine vibe but then it had all these like kites and there's just like, this giant carnival and festival going on it just looks very 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 uh grandiose so let's see what it has to offer shall we as the Millennium Falcon brings us to Pasana I've already spotted some speeder bikes there so that's kind of neat uh, there's that jump, by the way. Look at that. That's awesome. That is so freaking cool. I love that jump ability. Ooh, here we go. There's a wall that we could climb. Um. Oh, hold up. So because we have the Jedi version of Rey, she no longer has her scavenger abilities, which I suppose makes sense because obviously a lot of the Jedi abilities are assigned to the same button in my case since I'm playing on Xbox that would be the B button uh, so a lot of the Jedi abilities are assigned to the exact same button prompt as uh all the scavenger stuff is, is so it'd be far too complicated holy moly look at this freaking festival this looks ginormous look at this there's a whole party going down bum -ba -dum -ba -bum -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. things are looking quite lovely over here I've, I've got to be honest I've never seen so few ah. I guess Finn is the only one focused on the task at hand, and that is to find a wayfinder. Alright, let's talk to people then. That weird hermit keeps Which ruining weird my vibe. hermit? Bumbling around with his mask on, muttering Ochi this and Ochi that. Ochi? Well, she would just go -chi away. Oh my goodness. What a horrible, cringy joke. But, okay. Fine. That lady is uh, clearly upset about something or another. Uh, let's yeah, talk to this to person. The sky and see kites flying I agree. Cool, cool. Kind of chill. Oh, like <laughs> okay. I definitely well, agree now. <laughs> really takes my mind off Sheesh. -wide you know? Yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Next. Let's see. Don't know if you can tell, but I'm not from around here. Um, sure. They look like the well, I, I wasn't the one that wanted to talk to you, bro. The game suggested that. But don't worry, I'm never going to talk to you again. How freaking rude, bro. Okay. So, can we talk to you? Can we dance? I wish I could, like, drop an emote here and just dance next to these characters. They're all just having fun, bro. It's positive vibes. I mean, considering how dark the entire storyline is, it'd be nice to have a little dance break every now and again. Here's another festival goer. And I witnessed the Ewok Dulok War. What the heck is an Ewok Dulok War? If you know what that's referring to, let me know in the comment section below. Again, if I can get more knowledgeable in Star Wars, 
I will take that opportunity. So if you know something, let me know. Uh, do we need to leave? I guess not. So who did I miss talking to? Interesting. Oh, there's a character right there. Hello. Oh, my neck feels bare. All other outside is at those beautiful necklaces. Ah, okay. Where do I get one of those? So I guess we well, were literally talking Let's to every single character that wasn't a local. Great plan, Ray. That was an excellent plan. Hey, let's talk to everyone except the locals. Because, of course, all of those extra people, all of these travelers, would somehow know the information that only a local would know. Oh, the next level is titled They Fly Now, so you know what's about to happen, right? Her name is Nambikima. That's okay. an excellent name. I'm Ray. Uh-oh. You can't hide. Dang. That was very menacing. Yeah, the cutscenes in this are just... <laughs> I love the the ongoing gag of him just always working out when he's trying to communicate with her telepathically. It's hilarious. Oh, the Knights of Ren. Awesome. Gotta love the Knights of Ren. So epic. All right, and they're off. Back to the Falcon. Now. And it looks like Ray wants to already retreat, but it may be too late. Lando! General Calrissian, we're looking for Exegol. It's freaking Lando Calrissian. How awesome. Roche of Bastum. He was carrying a clue that could lead to a wayfinder. Oh. Only two were okay. We followed his ship halfway across the galaxy. It was abandoned. Out past Lurch Canyon. Well, I guess that's where our next stop is, but it looks like, unfortunately, the First Order is already here. Move! I don't know about these speeders. Because these look more like some sort of boats or something, but okay. Here we go! Time for some blaster combat! Okay, come on. What is that, aim blitz? Come on. Please, 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 please. Okay, what is happening? How am I not hitting these shots? Ooh, gotta get that mini kit. Gotta get that mini kit. Gotta. Okay, are you kidding me? You're really gonna just dodge every single laser blast? Seriously? How's that not hitting him? There we go. Hallelujah. My goodness, that was absurd. Okay, I think we finally got some of them defeated. No, we don't. They fly. They fly now. Yep. There it is. There's that classic line from Moon Knight. I mean, sorry, Poe Dameron. There's another mini kit. Sweet. It's number two, I think. Ooh, and we got ourselves a Kyber brick. Very nicely done. Gathering some points by battling these guys as well. Okay. So once you defeat them in the vehicle form, that's when they then jump into the air and try to go after you that way. Can we even damage this thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. It's taking damage. Okay. For a moment there, I wasn't sure if we can actually damage the TIE fighter with just the regular uh, blaster. So good to know. That we can indeed do that. All right. Cool. Sweet. And there's more reinforcements. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Hey, that's a cool looking vehicle right there. Whoa. Okay, that was pretty epic. Not going to lie. And it looks like that was actually a level challenge. Down, 3PO. I'll, I'll get us out of this. Here we go. <laughs> D3PO. I mean, dude, do you we think that out of speeder. everybody involved in the Star Wars adventures, C3PO would be one of the most optimistic characters? I mean, you've been through everything and you've always survived. So why do you okay, worry now? You know? Why? <gasps> yes! Dude, was that our last mini kit? We got the micro vehicle unlocked. Yo, that's actually sick. That means two levels in a row. We managed to get all the mini kits collected. It seems like it's much easier to get the mini kits collected on your first run through in the vehicle levels because there's just less limitations on you, you know? Okay. Well, that was good parking. Good job. And I'm sure we just landed on perfectly safe sand. Quick sand. And down we go. Ooh, very moody. Where are the others? Okay, even more moody now. I swear, we look like uh, Indiana Jones out here. They fly now! Level completed, of course. Oh, we do indeed go on ahead and get our true Jedi rank at tier three, which means three Kyber bricks will be awarded to us. And then as far as challenges are concerned, I think we only got one, unfortunately. Yep, 
So we're going to have to get the other two done in the future. And then, of course, as far as mini kits are concerned, once again, shockingly, we got all five, which means that we get the Bastoon Legacy Micro Fighter unlocked as well. That is absolutely freaking brilliant. Super duper stoked to have that. Now, let's see what we get in terms of characters. We get the Hermit variant of Lando Calrissian, as well as the Episode 9 costume for Lando. And that will be that. Cool. Fantastic. All righty, Roo. They have to be in these I gotta say, legitimately, we look like we're in Uncharted or something, right? Look at us. Looking pretty freaking cool. Very atmospheric. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Really, Ray? Really? You gotta brag that you can use the force? My goodness. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll catch you guys here on the next part in the gameplay walkthrough. Thanks all for watching. Peace out. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.